What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint bringing you the blights. I'm um, going to be painting all three blights on this video. And uh, the three blights from the Monster Manual, the Nolzers blights. Really, again, very small models. I mean, look at the twig blight. Minuscule. So I'm going to try to do what I can with them. Uh, but before I get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Without further ado, here come the blights. Starting things off with a base coat of flat earth. After two coats of flat earth, following it up with a mid-tone of Japanese uniform World War II. And this is going to be a head-to-toe mid-tone. As you can see, I've done it on the crown of his head. His eyes going back to the head here. Really try to bring out those eyes. The needles sticking out of his legs. Really anything that would catch the light. Now I'm going to be doing a series of two washes. So the first I'm going to be attacking the areas that I've left in the color of flat earth. And I'm going to be using the color smoke, diluting it with about 50% water and going over anything that is still the color flat earth. Second wash, I'm going over the Japanese uniform World War II with the color wood grain which is a little bit more along the lines of a sepia. And I'm using this over all of the areas that are most prominently Japanese uniform. Now with about a 75-25 mix in favor of dry sand, I'm going to be using a max highlight here on the face and extremities of the needle blight. Right, so there's the needle blight again really quick these are meant to be kind of painted quickly and then put right on the table i think you did a pretty good job considering the canvas on which we're working the size of the canvas on which we're working so that is um, a needle blight there very groot like and now i'm going to be switching into the vine blight Starting off with a base coat of camo green and heavy black green. Doing a full dry brush of Japanese uniform World War II. Here is the end result of that dry brush. Adding some tones to the shadowed portions of the figure with a little diluted wood grain. A 50-50 mix of sepia wash and violet ink in the crevices, leaving the highlights alone. All right, there is the Vine Blight. Uh, again, pretty quick, relying on those tones and the contrast to really bring him out. A very squatchy uh, type figure brought up. You know, he kind of reminds me of a cross between uh, like if Chewbacca was made out of vines. Um, so that is two out of three. And we'll put him aside and then we'll move on to the Twig Blight. Starting off with an all-over base coat of chocolate.
three blights from the Monster Manual going the Twig Blight, the Vine Blight, and the Needle Blight. Hope you enjoyed. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.